Here we go, looking at inequalities. So what is an inequality? Basically, an inequality compares two values. For instance, if we look at A is not equal to B. It's a comparison. Now, you were taught when you were younger, remember the old crocodile story with greater than, bigger than, um, less than, uh, greater than or equal, and less than or equal. Remembering always that the crocodile eats the smaller number, which would have been on the right-hand side. So we could have said, uh, let's take six, bigger than four. See the bigger number, crocodile's mouth, eating the bigger number. This one could have been six is bigger than or equal to four. So greater than, bigger than, less than would be four is less than six. Bigger number over there. There we go. Crocodile again. And this one less than or equal to, again, that would be what? Four is less than or equal to six. Okay. Before we go any further, let's just turn a page quickly and I'll come back to this page. But if we look at this one, if they give you y is equal to naught, okay? Y is equal to naught. Well, what could that be? We don't know. So let's change that sign. Y is bigger than naught. So what numbers could we use? Y is bigger than than naught. Well, could we use naught? No. We could start with 1, 1 1.5, 2.5. We could have three quarters. Okay. So that, substituting those numbers in for y, it is bigger than naught. Okay. So y is smaller than three. What numbers could we use there? Could we start with three? Again, no because y is smaller than 3. So let's see, 2 would be the obvious one, 2.5. We could have 1 is smaller than 3, 0 is smaller than 3, uh, 1 and 2 fifths is smaller. y is bigger than or equal to 4. y is bigger than or equal to 4. All right, so in this case, it's got to be a larger number, and equal to four. So we can start with four, five, five and a half, five and three quarters, and so on. Okay, do we understand that? Now, let's go back and see how can we plot on a graph, a line graph, how do we plot this y is bigger than two? Well, before we do that, we need to know what that stands for, and that stands, what that one stands for. That, an open circle, does not include the number. If it is a closed circle, it includes the number. Let's see if you follow what I'm saying. Y is bigger than 2. Okay, so you think it's going to be an open circle or a closed circle? Does it include 2? No, it doesn't. So it's going to be an open circle. So let's find 2. So the values of y will be bigger than 2. Okay, so anywhere along that nine going, number line going that way, okay, open circ little circle. Right, remember that. Now, y is bigger than or equal to, larger than, greater than, doesn't matter what word we use, it is bigger. Okay, the y is bigger than than 2 or equal to 2. So go back to that. Open, closed. I reckon it's, because it's inclusive, it's a closed circle. Right. Continues that way along the number line. Numbers get bigger. Now, y is less than 4. Less than 4. Yes. Open circle. Now, because it's less, remember the numbers, as they get smaller, go that way, okay? And the fact that we're putting an arrow just means it continues, it goes on forever. So the 4 is not included in this one, OK? 
Okay, happy with that. Y is less than or equal to four. I think you've got it by now. Equal to less than, it's going to be a closed circle. Right, again, going down, numbers get smaller. This is a bit of an odd one. This is a bit of an odd one. Look, it's got two on either side of the letter. So Y is going to be bigger than, bigger than or equal to minus one. Y is bigger than or equal to minus one. So let's go to minus one. Because it's equal and bigger, we, correct, color it in. Y is, however, smaller than three. Smaller than three. Is three included? Let's go to three. No. Open circle. Not included. Not included. So here we have a case of between. This is going to be between numbers. All right. So Y again. Bigger than or equal to minus one. Going that way. Bigger than. And less than three. Open circle less than three. Okay. Let's look at this one again. Just sort of get a perspective on the sign. Y is bigger than minus four. Right. You know it by now. It's bigger than minus four. Closed circle? No. Open circle. Bigger than minus four. We don't have to take the line all the way through. The arrow defines and tells us that it'll go on forever. Okay. Now, that one's complete. Let's look at this one. Two. Now, watch this one. Y is greater than two. Y is greater than two. There's no um, equal to. So Y is greater than two. Find two. Open circle. Correct. And Y is less than five. Not less than and equal to. So find five, open circle, join them. Okay, look at it again. Y is bigger than two. Y, there's two, bigger than two. However, it is less than five, open circle. If it was, Y was smaller than or equal to five, we would have colored that in. Okay, that is basically then how to work out inequality, an inequality on a number line.